Quality Digest presents your source for quality and metrology news. I'm Dirk Ducharme, Editor-in-Chief for Quality Digest. On this week's show, we look at a fascinating product from Gelsight. It's a 3D tactile surface measurement sensor. Using a combination of video and a skin-like tactile sensor, this device is capable of creating 3D surface texture images with resolutions down to 7 microns. At the Hexagon Live show in Las Vegas, we spoke with Kimo Johnson, co-founder and chief science officer of Gelsight, about the technology and the advantage of coupling it with a Hexagon portable arm. Uh, so we're here right now at uh, the Gelsight booth with Kimo Johnson. You're the co-founder and chief science officer for Gelsight, yes, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, very interesting product. Uh, never seen anything like this before. Tell us what Gelsight does. Great, thank you. So this is an imaging technology that I worked on during my postdoc at MIT. It has a gel, an elastomeric sensor, on the end of the probe. Inside the probe we have a camera, a lens, and six light sources. This gives us the ability to measure 3D surface geometry at very high resolution. We've shown the ability to measure surface roughness, scratches, dents, and many other features of interest in industry. And what kind of, when you said high res, what kind of res resolution are we talking about with this unit? This system is sensitive down to the single digit microns in Z. Okay. It has a spatial resolution of about seven microns per pixel. Okay. Um, and that's enough to measure a lot of interesting features in aerospace, automotive, and other industries. So, so when I first heard about this, it was interesting because they said it's, it's a, what, a camera based tactile system. And I'm going, wait a minute, camera is non-contact, tactile is touching, so you've got a non-touching touch system. I mean, so explain how it actually works. So it's, it's an interesting story actually, where my postdoctoral advisor, Professor Ted Adelson, he got fascinated when he watched his infant daughter interact with the world through touch. Okay. And his background was vision science. Okay. And he thought, how can I turn that tactile information into an image? So imagine okay. what, was, what it would be like if you had cameras inside your skin okay. and could see how your skin deforms Right. when it touches things. And that's really what gel site is. We've got this elastomeric sensor, which is like the skin, but we have a camera inside it, and that allows us to see how the skin deforms. But using the, an imaging sensor, we can turn that into digital information, feed it into image processing algorithms, AI models, and do very interesting things with it. So it's looking, for, it's looking at the backside of, it's looking at the backside of the, of the gel and looking at the deformations that's there right. and making the measurements. Okay, that's right. wow, that's crazy. Um, so I noticed you've got it mounted on an arm here. Now this is kind of the collaboration that's going on with Hexagon, right? That's right. So be before putting on an arm, how would people normally use this? So for about five years, we've been selling this as a handheld measurement tool. It's the camera, light source, gel, USB cable connected to a tablet, can go down to the factory floor for doing inspection tasks. And we had good traction into aerospace and other industries. But one of the key questions that our customers have is, well, can I get the measurement back to the CAD model? How do I compare what gel site measures to the known values in the model? So through, through the Sixth Sense program with Hexagon, we were able to take the best of both worlds. Their arm provides global coordinates, and our system provides high resolution local coordinates. And that's really the power of this demo, is you can get surface roughness, surface finish, on the CAD model of the part. Yeah, why don't you show us uh, sure. doing it here. So at this stage, this is a prototype, but it really shows the potential of this collaboration. We've got our software and Hexagon Spatial Analyzer software. Okay. And this particular component we're measuring is a section of a landing gear. The customer has to control surface roughness. They care very much about the finish. And in this one section of the landing gear, it has machining marks. Oh, wow. Okay. And those machining marks need to be controlled and need to be measured. So you just simply touch to the surface. The arm is telling them, the arm is telling them where you are within the, the, the 3D, uh, within the CAD 3D That's uh, right. model. And then you're taking, then your measurement is referenced right directly to that spot. Exactly. You know exactly yep. where, that, where that's at. Okay. Yep. Because in the, in the past, I imagine what they did is they're inspecting something even with your product or other surface measurement products, somebody sees a defect, yep. they take a marker, mark That's around right. it, you come back, you mark it, then you got to go and mark up the, the, the drawing or the CAD with where it's at. Exactly. This is all doing that all, all at once. 
Yeah, or often yeah. they'll see something and the best they can do is feel it with their fingernail and yeah. decide if it's in or out of spec. <laughs> Real precise. Yeah. <laughs> or sometimes they'll make a replica, which is a very tedious process of yeah. waiting for the replica to cure, taking it off to a measurement lab, waiting for that measurement to come back. So in just a matter of seconds, we can get that measurement and have it registered to the CAD model. Okay, wow, that's crazy. Um, so you, you have a, a slightly larger one here. Um, what's the difference between these two? This is a new product, Gel Slate Max, that we just released a few weeks ago. Okay. It's the highest resolution handheld surface device, uh, surface measurement device that we've made. Has a 16 megapixel camera and sees at about 2.7 microns per pixel. And we've been able to compare the measurements from this to a stylus profilometer with a five micron tip. One of the main applications for this is surface roughness okay. and profile roughness. But it's much easier to use than a stylus instrument because an operator can just go right up, make a okay. scan, and in a matter of seconds, get that measurement. Okay. Now, what about calibration? We ship with every system a set of calibration standards. Um, we have this groove specimen that comes with a NIST traceable certificate. Okay. Um, and there's a dedicated process in the software for calibrating the system. Every time the user changes the gel, we recommend recalibrating the system. And the gels, yeah, I was going to say, so the, how long is the, does the gel last? Or does it really depend on the type of surface you're measuring? It does. It's, you think of the gel like the skin on your finger, yeah. right? You want to be careful with it. You don't want to press it into sharp objects. Yeah. But this gel is a new formulation for this, this new product. We've tested this to thousands of measurements, okay. and it still holds its shape. Okay. Our previous gel, 300 to 500 measurements was the norm. Okay. And in many applications, that's already very good. Okay, and that's, so that's a, obviously a replacement part. You just snap it in there, it looks like. And that's right. Yep, lock it in, okay, wow. And then ha uh, obviously uh, the calibration goes per, per gel. That's right. And so if you, and there's no need to, like you don't have different gels for different applications or that type of thing, or? We do have a couple types of gel. We have okay. a silicone gel, a thermoplastic elastomer gel, and then this is a new formulation that has an additional coating on it okay. to make it more robust. So okay. there are different types of gel and we can recommend the gel for the application. Wow, so what, what is the, the main application that your, your customers seem to be most interested? It's typically scratches, dents, small defects okay. on high value components. Uh, aerospace, automotive? Yep, both, okay. and more space launchers and other um, applications like that. Wow. But roughness, we think, is a new, very broad application across many different industries because beyond basic dimensions of parts, like lengths, width, diameters, the roughness, the surface finish, is something that in almost every industry that needs to be uh, controlled and needs to be measured. Okay. Um, and are you actually shipping this combination with ARM and, uh, and the gel site uh, instrument at the same time now? Or is this just in, in prototype right now? This is an, in development. We have some interested customers and we're working on a roadmap towards turning this into a first product. All right. Well, Kimo, appreciate it. That was very interesting. Thank, Thank you. you.